Hey everyone, this is Daryl, aka The D, from the Simply Incredible Podcast, and today just watched NXT TakeOver London. I'll tell you what, not a lot of matches, but they're phenomenal. The, the NXT for me is way better than the uh, WWE pay-per-views right now. Um, right off the bat, see, I actually missed the, um, the pre-card, and I think there was um, a four-way tag team match that I did not see, so I'm not sure what happened there, so I I have to watch the, you got to find that to see what happened there. But the uh, the first match on the main card, um, Asuka versus Emma. And right off the bat, I, I'll say it, I'm a huge Emma fan. And I know she's kind of stuck in NXT now. And she's finally getting a, a little a little recognition. And I, I'm really hoping she gets put over more. But her and, and Asuka, great match. The, the two just, it was back and forth. It was great action. Good pinfall kickouts. It was a great match. Asuka won, but I, I really see that, I mean, both of those two, I, I can see them all, all these young women that are out there now, and in a later match too, the, the women also there. I can also see so many of these women so talented in uh, in NXT and the ones that just moved up to uh, WWE. That, their division is stacked right now. A lot, a lot of great young women athletes that they have now. And I'm really glad that they're kind of not doing the divas, so to speak, where they're doing women wrestlers. Even though they still call it the divas division, it's more women wrestlers now. These women have so much talent. It's great seeing them. But um, Asuka got the win in that match, and but great match. The second match was a tag team title match. Uh, Enzo, Big Cass, and the great Carmella come out, and they were not soft. <laughs> Against uh, Dash and Dawson, great match again. I mean, again, every one of these matches, I will, I will put great match in front of it. Um, the, these guys right here, I love watching them. Dash and Dawson, they remind me of old school wrestling. The old, uh, the Four Horsemen when you had Tully Blanchard and Arn Anderson, and, and they just pull it off so well, so well. Such so great, great old school wrestling. And since WWE Network has put on the old. Uh, um, was it World Championship Wrestling? I get to see the Four Horsemen again from back when I was young. I used to love watching them. Such a throwback team this is. And they're so good. Um, Enzo and Big Cass, love watching them. Their entrance is phenomenal. Um, they're just such good stuff. But uh, Dash and Dawson won to retain their titles. Um, and what I loved about, about these matches is you don't have run-ins. You, you have a little bit here and there. But you don't have like matches that so many matches that ends in draws or are uh, thrown out just DQs. Most matches at their pay-per-views, well, not pay-per-views really, but on the WWE Network for the uh, NXT, most of them are finishes. And that's what I love about it. And Dash and Dawson got the win. Great match again. Like I said, great match. Every one of these great matches. Um, the next match, uh, Baron Corbin against Apollo Crews. Apollo Crews has, hasn't been... Um, on the main uh, NXT show very much, uh, very long, excuse me. But what little he's been there, this young man, he he has a huge future. I, I just watch him and think, he, he's got that power, but he also has that flying skills. He, he's got a little bit of everything. Uh, Baron Corbin, just a huge mountain of a man. I mean, he, he's got to be in the upper six foot, uh, maybe close to 6'10 or something like that. I don't remember what his actual build height is, but huge guy. Just a big athletic big man, which you don't see a lot. And uh, Corbin got the win, which I'll be honest, actually surprised me. I thought uh, Apollo Crews was going to going to win that match going into it. And great match again. No cheating, no nothing, just a, a finish, which again, I love. And But again, these are two guys. Um, Apollo, I can see him really going big in uh, WWE. Uh, uh, Corbin, I think he still has a little bit of work to do, but there's no doubt in my mind. That he has that he has that mentality, that drive to push himself to be better, and I think he's going to be uh, a really good in the future. Uh, before the next match, they had an announcement: Sami Zayn will be back next week, and he's been out a long time. Um, last time I remember, um, he was I know he won against John Cena. I think it may have been his first match in the WWE, and he got hurt. Um, it hurt his shoulder. And then the next day he had a match with, uh, ne uh, not, maybe not the next day, but a couple of days later, uh, he had a match with um, Kevin Owens, and he and he really hurt it a lot more. It appeared to me he really hurt it more, 
maybe that maybe they had the old he 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 couldn't really injure it anymore but yeah he looked like he hurt it really bad and he's been out a long time and it's really good to hear that he's going to be back because again he, he's one of those guys a lot of talent and when he was he was just ready to get put over in uh on the main roster and got injured but glad to hear he's coming back next match was uh nia Jax against bailey again good match bailey love bailey she she is she's spunky she's fiery she's she's really talented um she got a good look and i can see her uh, being great um nia jack she's that that female she's that powerhouse she's that big strong woman just throwing people around great match um bailey took a lot of bumps um ba bailey come out and get in the wind uh like a rear choke and it's really good stuff and see the last match we had samoa joe against um finn balor for the uh for the championship again good match uh, well, let's go back to that bailey uh nia jacks match for one second um those i because I, I feel like i just blew through that really quick i mean bailey whenever she comes out she gets a huge pop from the crowd and and i love the the little balloon air guys she's guys behind her great stuff the crowd's always reacting with her and a lot of the times the the london crowd was singing to her kind of serenading her which i thought was awesome um uh, but again she got the win in there for me kind of an upset because i thought nia Jax was, was be the, uh getting that win getting the title and maybe bailey might be moving on um to uh wwe to the main roster and i would not be surprised if she's not there very very soon and the last one again finn balor uh defending his title against samoa joe samoa joe big guy but i tell you what he he moves not like a really big guy um he's got good movement and he's been around a long long time and it, it's it's really great to see him finally in the wwe and um i'm hoping to see him up in the main roster soon finn balor wow he's got a great physique he he works hard you can just tell he he's a he's a class guy and it's really good to see him doing a lot of stuff again great match um no interference which again i love that about nxt and um balor with the win um, i don't know why i had to look because i knew we won uh, balor with the win um it's a great match these guys the, the whole card from beginning to end just solid it was only two hours it wasn't like the three hour pay-per-view for um wwe which they compact it they don't put a lot of filler in there and they just go with the show and it's great i really wish the main roster would kind of start doing that and really build up multiple characters and not just focus on like four or five characters you know maybe six to ten at the most and really focus on a lot of characters really building up the whole group instead of just a couple of people because right now on the main roster there's a lot of injured people speaking of injuries balor at the end um i know there was something wrong because you could tell he was talking to uh uh, a doctor at the side and you could tell there was something wrong and it, it, i i couldn't tell what he said but it looked like he said he um might have injured something and he um was dizzy when he tried to stand up after the match um and i hope he's okay because this man ton of talent and a, another one of those guys that will be on the main roster probably soon if not no injuries happen um and i could see him having a good run too because again the wwe the main roster the men they they got a lot of injuries. They need some people to fill some spots right now. But um, again, from beginning to end, great card. Uh, I mean, I compared to the uh, the what was it last week uh, TLC last week, I would give this one an A plus compared to that. Um, but compared to the, the the takeovers that they have been having, this was probably again it's a great card. It only would be like a A minus, high B, A minus, because every time they put out a card, it's phenomenal from beginning to end. And I just, again, I wish the uh, the WWE would take note of what they're doing here. The, 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 the quote, lower level is better than the top tier, in my opinion. A lot of people would totally disagree with that. But, again, great card from beginning to end. Uh, if you don't have the WWE Network, you should get it just for NXT because they do phenomenal stuff. Um, another thing that they have is the, um, what do they call it, uh, Breaking Ground, Breeding Ground, Breaking Ground, I think is what they call it. And where they talk about uh they go behind the scenes of nxt you really get to to hear a lot about the not the characters but the people and that is a phenomenal show helping build a connection with the athletes it's a great show um again i would highly recommend getting it because i've had it ever since it came out 
and this is by far the best thing that they have on there right now but there's a lot of good stuff but they keep adding more and more content but again the nxt take takeover yeah takeover london i almost said take down london takeover london was great card um yeah I just nothing else to say but just a phenomenal card anyway guys i'll be doing see what's coming up next um i believe there's a ufc fight night coming up this week i believe which is a great card i know um carlos condit's on it um i think nate diaz um can't remember who all else is on it but it's johnny hendrix i think may be on it a lot of great guys on this card i can't wait to see it and yet i can't remember who all is in it but <laughs> anyway guys thank you guys for watching and have an incredible day